Hi guys, tips for full-time RVers. Today I wanna to talk about why it is so important to do a walk around, around your site, around your rig, and around your tow vehicle, or um, your tow behind vehicle, and why that's especially important while you're moving spots. So the first time that we learned how important this was, was actually like our first day that we were full-timing in our rig. We were in upstate New York, and um, we had gone almost the whole trip from West Virginia to upstate New York and um, things were going okay and then we stopped to check something and my husband put the tailgate down and got something off the back of the truck, hopped back in the truck and forgot to put the tailgate back up. And, and so what happened next was things were coming off the back of the truck. Uh, going into this spot so you can see I've taped it but it was cracked pretty bad and um, you know if something would have come off the back of the truck all the way and wouldn't have hit that Ben uh, cover then over it with the RV we could pop tires we could have caused an accident and so that can be super dangerous so just the fact that we stopped for a minute put the tailgate up he hopped back in the truck didn't put the tailgate or he put the tailgate down didn't put it back up and um, yeah, that could have been a huge problem. Other things that we've done, um, walk arounds are important to look for limbs and tree branches above your unit. And um, we've always done that. We've always been really good about that. But one thing that we didn't think about, here's now, see there's tree branches here. And so probably when we leave, we're gonna go um, and be really mindful of these branches. But one thing that we didn't think of one time is obstacles that are low. And so um, we were, I think, in that same campground in New York because um, we were totally new and inexperienced and we just didn't, you know, you learn by trial and error and things happen and that's how you figure it out. But box and uh, my husband bumped this huge boulder that they were using for landscaping and knocked off the little piece that goes there. It should look like that, which is a bit prettier. Other things, we nearly left a Yeti coffee cup behind, which isn't a huge deal, but um, you know, you just don't wanna lose little things like that. We almost left a step stool behind that I was using to check um, to make sure our bikes were secure. So. Uh, because we did a walk around, we found those items. And um, one thing that we didn't catch in time, and it was a $200 life lesson, was our surge protector on our power cord in the back. Um, they unplugged the power, wrapped up the power cord, put it away, and um, they had set the surge protector like on the um, rear bumper of the truck, I think, or a picnic table. I'm not sure where they put it, but they left it behind and we didn't realize it until we were in a different state. Uh, and then there was a lightning storm and we didn't have a surge protector and we had to drive an hour and a half to the nearest place that carried them. It cost us $200. Um, if we would have just double checked everything and not been in a hurry. That may not have happened. Other things that we have caught from paying attention, and so nothing bad went wrong because we did the walk around. Um, once we were putting in the slides and this um, rear slider, it was in almost all the way and not quite all. I think what happened, I'm in charge of that. I put in slides and I slipped um, when I was doing things and I, I caught myself on the panel where the slide buttons are, and I think I just bumped one of the buttons without realizing it and I put the slide out slightly and my husband caught that because he was doing a walk around. So we have um, caught lots of things that you know we left our cooler on the picnic table or whatever. It's just always a good idea when you're packing up and leaving to walk around your truck, walk around your rig, walk around your site. Check for anything that you may have left behind, anything that doesn't look right. Um, I know that we've seen people going down the road with their antennas up and, or they're going down the road with their vents and their bathrooms open. Or um, we've seen people and their awning isn't closed all the way or different things like that. So um, I know that 
I've also seen online, you know, bikes not weren't checked and they weren't um, on there properly. We've caught that more than once too, where like a strap just vibrated and wiggled loose and the bike wasn't on there quite right. Or um, we had a different bike ladder before and it was actually slowly bending our ladder that our bike um, rack was attached to our ladder. Okay. And so the ladder or the rear ladder on the rig was bent pretty bad. And so we went and bought a new um, bike rack that wasn't going to put stress on the ladder. But um, those are all things that we caught because we took the time to walk around. And a lot of times there's four people in our family. I like at least two people to do a walk around because one person will catch the things that the other person won't. So it's a good idea. Just take your time, you know, go through a checklist. It may be helpful to have everything written down so you can go through a checklist. We did that when we were first starting. And even if you're not first starting, even if you're kind of a veteran or a pro with this, it's always a good idea to have a checklist or to just to go through your list of things. So we went with sticky notes on the console and dash of our truck that said, is the tailgate up? Did you put on the emergency brake? Things like that, um, just to be extra sure, because you know as well as I do that RV expenses can rack up very quickly from a very small mistake. So just take your time, take it slow, go over your checklist, do your rock around.